In this video here, we're going to talk about how computer vision is building smart cities of tomorrow. So we're going to talk about a bunch of different use cases, applications where we can use computer vision for smart cities that could be all the way from construction, parking management, basically just traffic analysis in general. There's tons of different use cases that we can do update detection on top of, object tracking, counting in specific zones and so on, but also for other different types could also be PPE detection. So let's just jump straight into it. These high level topics here where we cover applications in different areas and fields for computer vision. We also have blog posts covering pretty much all of them. So make sure to check those out on the Ultralytics website as well. So let's just jump straight into it and talk about what we can use computer vision for in smart cities. These are also very good projects to just get started out with. If you're looking for computer vision projects, getting into learning it and so on, you can use the Ultralytics models both for RA bounding boxes, update detection, update tracking, you can combine all these different things, but also train your own custom models to solve some of these smart city use cases. So the first one here, which is a pretty good one, we even create a video around it where we have a parking management system. So we have a high level camera sitting on top of a parking lot and then we can monitor how many slots are actually occupied and how many parking spots are available. This is a pretty cool use case and also very useful. Here we can see the, we have these cars, we have the red bounding boxes when they're occupied and the green ones here when they are available. So this is an outside parking lot where we have like a high level camera, could be like a CCTV camera that just need to sit high or in this example here, it looks more like a drone view or a satellite image. So this is a very cool use case for computer vision, relatively easy to get up and running and it's a very nice one. So definitely see if you can set that up Another one which you've probably experienced before is automated number plate recognition. So we want to, so this is actually like a multi-step pipeline where first of all, we need to do update detection. We need to detect the license plate or the number plate. Then after that, we can take a second step where we read through an OSR model, could be an API and so on. We already created a video about that here on the Autolytics channel, how you can use Autolytics model to do automated number plate recognition and then Take that bounding box, then you can just crawl out the bounding box, send it to the OpenAI API with the vision model capabilities, and then it's going to extract all the text. You can send it back again. You can do optic tracking on top of it, so you just assign that number plate or the text that you extract from OpenAI to that number plate track ID, and then you can actually like track a number plate. So this could be for like parking lots if you drive into malls and so on. You have a recognition system for the number plates. So this is also a very cool use case in new smart cities where computer vision is very good, also because it doesn't take too much time, too much resources and so on to get the model up and running. We can also do accident detection, all different types of traffic monitoring. We can have cameras in, in traffic intersections, see how many cars are going in and out, do analysis on top of traffic intersection to see if we can optimize these smart cities as well. Another one is smart grocery shops. So we probably have to cache the less systems when you go to the grocery store and you want to like scan your own items and so on. It's often using computer vision. Definitely check for a camera above you. Could be some systems. I've seen some of the systems that use cameras on top to act like detect if you're putting the right objects to the side and also if you actually like scan them in the scanner. So this is also a very cool use case for computer vision. Can train you in all different types of classes. There's some public data available that you can use out of the box, but it's very cool. All just for counting, retail store analysis, management, and so on. Could be that you want to refill, refill your stock. Could be that you're running out of items on, you're taking items on the shelves. You're starting to run out. You don't take as many items any longer. Then you can have like a system basically just saying that we need to go in and refill this specific item at this shelf location. Another cool one is construction site safety. So when we're building these smart cities, we can have these PPE detection. So basically just protective equipment, helmet, vest. We can even have boots, mask and so on. I've seen data sets for that, but a very good use case is detecting helmets and also vests. So we detect these persons here walking around or at construction sites. And if we detect a person without a helmet or a vest, then we can act like raise an alert based on that. So this is a very cool use case as well. Could be detecting abandoned objects, littering as well. I've seen some very good videos with littering as well. So basically like if people are throwing something out of the, the window or basically just having 
a robot or a camera just walk down the sidewalk, detecting act like trash or litter on this side. Pothole detection, when you're driving in a car, detect potholes in the road. That's also a very cool use case. You can get some data sets, train the models with autolytics. You can test it out on videos for pretty much all of the use cases. In a few lines, it's all about the data set and then take the autolytics framework, do the model training and also run your inference. Then you can use that in your own applications and projects. Crowd management, how are people moving around in the city? Object counting systems could be like queue management and so on as well. So this is very awesome. We need to do custom training for smart cities. So we need to have data diversity. We need to train it for specific use cases. Task specific models could be that you want to detect road defects, monitor crowd behavior, or do this parking management system as I talked about. So we have each of these models here will be a separate one, but again, it's still very easy to get up and running with the autolytics framework. There's always pros and cons of pretty much like using anything in any area. So the pros and cons of computer vision in smart cities is improved safety. Like you can improve safety a lot by having cameras monitor something all the time that a human can't do. So we get more operational efficiency. Could be that we have a traffic light in section that we want to do analysis on top of. It's just not possible if you don't have a camera sitting there and act like getting the real time feedback. Environmental gains cost savings so over time it can actually like save a significant amount of money there will be some upfront cost infrastructure cost and all that which is one of the cons but over time it will then get all the initial cost and investments up front you will have a higher return on investment and start to actually like get some cost savings but also just efficiency and improved safety there's always privacy concerns when you have a camera monitoring stuff and so on. But if you're detecting people, you can detect the faces, blur out the people and so on, and just use the information of how they're walking around. And then it doesn't really track any people. You can't see any of the people. It's going to blur it out and all that. So there's not really any concern about that. Weather sensitivity, integration barriers and so on. You need to have the infrastructure. You need to build the systems and so on around the models. But with Ultralytics, you can have the whole training, the inference and so on up and running in no time. So this is definitely the future of smart cities. It is the direction it's going. We already have some of these systems here, parking management, the number plate recognition and so on. You've probably experienced that before, but people and businesses and so on, they start to integrate more and more computer vision for monitoring, analysis, and just improving efficiency. These are some very cool use cases. Definitely see if you can set some projects up. Either if you're starting out, it's really good learning to set these projects up, but also if you want to use this for business use cases it's also fairly easy to get up and running at least on the model side hope you learned on this video here hope to see you guys in one of the upcoming videos until then happy learning